Well, good day, tubes. Oh, Dilly, there's something in there. So today we're um, out bright and early. Or anybody's awake. No. Mostly. Doing some metal detecting. Keeps moving on you, Dill. Doing some metal detecting. So far we found a little bit of stuff. Not a tremendous huge amount of stuff, but nothing nothing good yet anyways. This is really being a tricky one. Where'd it go? Totally disappeared. We'll move that thing a bit for me. Oh, that one said coins. Hmm. That's weird. No, well, then it's disappeared. Oh, well, carry on. So, anyways, uh, we're just out right nearly doing some metal detecting on the beach here. In Cardin, Ontario, we are on vacation. Frickin' vacation, thank you. There's a little marina just above, behind the fence here. You can see all, all the masts and stuff. There's a lot of sailboats. And someone's fired up some old two-stroke, I can smell her. Sounds like a snowmobile, so. We're just doing a little metal detecting, see if we can find anything to pay for our vacation. Like a ring or something would be awesome. <laughs> but uh, probably pretty rare. Most people will take their stuff off in their car or whatever, you know. But you never know. So I gotta keep the video short because we're only on the LTE network here. There's no Wi-Fi. It's any good for putting anything any decent. So yes. But we are trailering it in a trailer park not too far from here. So far it's been good. Hooked up to full service. Nice pull through spot. And uh, it's been nice. Weather's been really hot, which is good because the air AC cranks, of course. And uh, what else, Dilly? Ants. Oh, yeah. ants. Ants have really sucked at this uh, campsite. I was going to say website. This website. Um, which really sucks. So, anyways, uh, once we come across another something here or whatever we find. We'll uh, click the dewey here back on and uh, see what we can come up with. Daily, you found something without the metal detector. Well, there's a seagull eating it. Seagull's eating it? What? Oh. Oh. That's a big fish. Hello, puppet. Like, yeah. that's a really big fish. Yeah. <sighs> it's got no eyes left. That's a ghost fish. Should that's I cut a, it? That's a uranium fed ghost fish. And I'll tell you. Oh. <coughs> I'll tell you why it's uranium fed in a minute here. Hang on. We got something. Oh. Oh, it's something big right there. Aluminum or zinc, it says. And it says iron. It keeps caving in on you. Again. Probably a bobby pin again. <laughs> Hairpin thingy. Wait a sec, let me change the depth. Oh, 
set down pretty deep too. Medium. Deep. Wow. Is there somewhere? That's gonna be down deep. Must be. Need a mini excavator for that. <laughs> Let me try over here. It's probably a beer cap. Mm -hmm. We can dig up. There somewhere. It's moving on. Me. Oh. oh, that's for a beer cap. <laughs> oh, getting her narrowed down now, maybe. Move the shovel over and get in your shovel. Iron, so it was going between coins too, which is kind of weird. What's that right there? It's right there. A screw! A screw maybe out of someone's boat. Let's check the ground here again. Yeah, looks like we got her. A screw, I see. Hold it right in your hand. It's a carriage bolt. Wait, 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 I didn't get it. Hold still, there we go. Neat. Well, that's kind of a useless find, but still fun, still fun. People leave their sailboats all laying around here. There's a couple of those, what do they call them? Paddle boards. Paddle boards in behind the bush here. Kind of crazy. Anyways, let's see what else we can locate. So they got a couple nice piers here too. This is where all the boats come in out into the marina. Now parking behind there. And uh, what I said there about that fish being fed by, by uh, uranium is, uh, I don't know if it's clear enough. It's pretty hazy out here, but um, ooh, there's a bit of a peninsula in the way here, but if we can look, I'll try to zoom. That's as best I got. Okay, so see this building. Where's my finger gone? Oop, there it is. That's right. So there's a building. Oh, that's not going to work. Hang on. We're going to have to see if we can get out here more. Hang on. Okay, let's try this again. So see on the end of the greenery coming out of the water there, there's like a mysterious looking building. Really huge building. Kind of hard to see, but she's there in the mist. That is Bruce Nuclear Plant A. In the middle is Douglas, the Douglas plant. And on the far, 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 far side is Bruce Nuclear Plant B. Nuclear Energy, Nuclear Fission Plant. Hence, fed by uranium fallout. <laughs> no, they're probably not, of course. They're quite safe there. We took the bus tour and everything. It's pretty sweet. So, um, yeah, that is a nuclear power generating plant. You know, looked pretty good. They, uh, of course, around all those buildings, they have like double fenced, looked up from The Walking Dead. 
double fenced, uh, freaking razor wire lined, electrified. You know, there's no getting in there. It's freaking more secure than a bloody prison is. So, um, as you know, they don't want people in there. No cameras were allowed. I couldn't film nothing. He's the guy at the guard said, well, you could have easily because they never actually watched us. They uh, needed photo ID to get on the bus so they didn't be aware. Not some kind of to tourist terrorist kind of thing. But no cameras, no cell phones, no nothing allowed in there because they would confiscate it and not return it to you. So I just left mine in my truck. But anyway, that was pretty cool. Lots of neat stuff. They've got two huge major like inlets and then a huge major outlet and apparently it only raises the water three degrees or something as it's coming out the other side. But um, and that's going year round of course. But major major water going in and out of there so it's like hmm what could you possibly be dumping back into that water? <laughs> Most of it was pretty good until I got to uh, you know like the uh, storage area for the youth used fuel rods that was a little nerve-wracking you know if you see one of those split open yeah you're pretty much screwed radiation fallout crap from from that would just you know decimate this whole entire area probably most of the province because it's freaking massive huge <laughs> but uh, yeah so in this big building that I showed you here there's four reactors in each building uh, four reactors in the other building and I think three reactors or maybe four in the Douglas one too. So yeah, lots of fun. But anyways, we haven't grown a third leg yet, so I guess we'll be good. But uh, that's the only kind of sort of really nasty side of it because they say, oh, it's 100% environmentally friendly. I'm like, yeah, well, what about this crap you got to store in your water for like thousands of years? You don't even know if that's going to be long enough, you know. They won't care because they'll be long gone by then, but uh, you know, it's whatever. It is, I guess, cleaner, but then you got all this radioactive crap you got to store for. What do they say? They have one huge building there, too, that stores stores the spent fuel rods for the first 10 years underwater, and they're transported to another part in the facility there that they just permanent, their permanent, permanent facility, they say. He's like, oh, it'll be about a thousand years. I'm like, yeah, it'll be more like 10,000 years, but by the time they're safe. But uh, anyways, that guy's doing Tai Chi over there. I'm not that flexible. But anyways, we're, better cut this short here because we're only on the LTE.